now and a potentially tricky tie against the Belgian cup holders, Standard Liège. Played in early by Keown. Will Wright get there first? It's a goal for Arsenal. Ian Wright. Well, I think it'd be unfair to say he hasn't had a kick yet, but he's certainly not played a major part in the, in the game so far. But he has now. And it's amazing, Brian. It's Smith, who you want in the middle, who's doing the work out wide. Great cross, I think, from McGoldrick. And a terrific finish. The goalkeeper left in absolute no-man's land. Stolen like a cat burglar there, didn't he? It was Keon who knocked the ball in. Great ball. Difficult for the keeper because it was always coming away from him. And a great finish. Who will it be? Well, we'll have to wait for that the age wall to retreat the full ten yards. I think it's going to be Merson because he'll, it depends which side he takes. Yeah, he's going the other side. It'll be Merson, I think. Probably go wrong. It's Merson. And it's a goal! Later, the Gunners arrived for the second leg in Liège in relaxed but determined mood. Match day, there was a job to finish, but there was also time to celebrate Ian Wright's 30th birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Thank 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 but Arsenal didn't miss their main source of goals on a record-breaking night. It's Merson. And look, maybe to banish any doubts at all with a goal. Here's Merson taking that ball from Selly. Smith on the far side! And exactly what Arsenal required. That opening goal with a little more than two minutes gone. And that's good night, Standard Liège. Only Alan Smith's second goal of the season. And what a good one it was. Excellent work by Merson leading to it. And Smith, who pulled away on that far side, getting the volley, 1-0. But here's Winterburn for Arsenal. Trying to get it down the line. Cut out once again. Lost by Geno. Well handled, though, by Seaman. And Dixon quick on the break. And Campbell even quicker on the break. Smith and Merson are waiting in the middle. Will it come to Merson? It may not, but it might come to Selly! It's no one for Arsenal! <laughs> Terrific goal by Young Ian Selly. And Arsenal go two in the lead. What a great break, starting from Dixon, taken on by Campbell. The cross came in, the ball came loose, and Selly walloped it home for number two. Corner. Oh, 
Arsenal back to full strength. Alan Smith back on and taking up a position inside that standard age six-yard area. As Paul Davis will hoist another corner in for Arsenal, leading by two goals to nil, five nil on aggregate. And knocked in and pushed away, Tony Evans! It's three nil! This is developing into a rout now. A beautiful corner served in well there by Davis. Campbell knocked it out. Munaron could only shovel it out to Adams. Campbell getting in behind him. It could be another one. It is. 4-0. Kevin Campbell. 41 minutes gone. 7-0 on aggregate. Great stuff again, just lifting it over Mooner on. It's not just a rout, it's a massacre now. Incredible performance. And all remember, without Ian Wright. Magnificent. Um, we was more looking for them to have a start like that, scoring so quickly. We scored our first attack. If they had scored it that early, then we would have been a little bit worried because that's what you want to do when you're 3-0 down. But this is just magnificent performance from the boys. You know, I'm loving it. That's a bit unfortunate for the standard Liège players, but, you know, we just want to win. We're not bothered about them, really. Great. Thank you very much, sir. Came off Merson. Goldrick. It's gone round his man beautifully. There's the cross coming in towards Merson. Well, if anybody deserved a goal tonight, it was Paul Merson. And that's Arsenal's fifth. And they lead 8-0. And Standard have never been an English side in European competition. Merson with number five. Goldrick, a little touch again for Davis, kept things moving along nicely through the midfield as Davis, and here's good work by Eddie McGoldrick. And it's another one, and it's Campbell. And McGoldrick's work, Campbell right at the end probably got the touch. And Arsenal take the score to six, and the aggregates to nine. Goldrick did so well here. Yes, and Campbell just got the touch that mattered. His second goal, Arsenal's sixth. Safe handing again by Seaman. Not only that, a superb throw out that sends Merson racing forward. McGoldrick again. from one end of the field to another an astonishing goal on a truly astonishing night back in north london a few thousand fans had turned out at highbury to watch the match on the new state-of-the-art jumbotron screens and at home and away the message was the same i think the three up front uh, campbell uh, Merson and Smith were excellent tonight, especially Campbell and, uh, and Merson. The way they were raiding from flank positions was excellent. And every time we went forward, it was if we were going to score.